Here we go. Capricorn. Cap, cap, or cap, or Capricorn. Yeah, it's funny that I want to sing a song for Capricorn because Capricorns are the most conservative of all the signs in the zodiac. Um, so they're the last sign, earth sign in the zodiac. They're the oldest earth sign in the zodiac. They're ruled by a planet um, called Saturn. And if you ever see the representation of Saturn, it's a picture of an old, uh, grumpy man, sort of a, a taskmaster, the teacher, the really tough, tough, conservative, um, strict teacher. That's what they're ruled by. So they have an amazing ability to get things done. Like if you want uh, to get something done in your life, put it in the lap of a Capricorn. A Capricorn will not stop. And that's also how they show love. Now, as I'm saying that they're conservative, they are amazingly conservative. Their, um, their love, their want, uh, their drive, their, they're incredibly ambitious, is towards creating an empire, is towards um, their business, creating business. And what's underneath that typically is wanting the respect of society. So if anyone made the rules in the world, it was most likely the Capricorns. They feel most comfortable having boundaries around them. If you see the emblem of the Capricorn, you're going to see the goat. It's half goat and half fish. So it can climb the highest mountains. If you see, if you've ever seen a goat, they have little tiny feet, but they literally can climb the sheerest mountain. Like, look it up. They're incredible. And with that uh, tail of the fish, they can swim to the depths of the ocean. Now, what I would like to ask in this for the Capricorns that are watching is that when you swim to the depths of the ocean, the outside of going on the mountain is more about achieving that uh, financial security or getting whatever you imagine to get done for the outside world for safety. But when you go inward, when you go to the bottom of the ocean, because you have that ability, when you come back up, share with us what you find. That's the part, you because they are so reserved and they are so cautious, they do not feel comfortable in the realm of emotion. They have very, very deep emotions. They are very deep. I'm thinking of a dear friend right now that just popped into my mind who I adore. I have, I have two dear, dear friends that I love so much that are Capricorns that immediately come to my mind. Um, the thing is with them, <laughs> they absolutely do not like frivolous emotions. They don't mind making fun of you, but if you if you make fun of them and in some kind of lighthearted way, especially in public, they will um they will uh what's the word? They will uh, I want to say button down, but that's not the right word. They will uh they will harden. They will harden because they do not enjoy that whatsoever. It's not funny to them. Um I am not that intelligent, so I have little Capricorn hole horn marks all over me because I love them and I want to play with them. And I actually know behind that exterior of uh, conservativeness and standoffishness that they want to play, like somewhere they want to play. That's my feelings about them. And I don't know why I just love that kind of crusty, uh, old man sense of beings. Now, it doesn't have to be um, a man, mind you. Um, females that are Capricorns as well, they have a natural sense of seeming older than they are because they're really responsible with, with things from the gate, they out of the gate. They are the ones you can rely on more than any of the other signs. Um, they will get things done. Where their Achilles heel is, is similar to that. Um, not that you even had to make fun of them, but if you, if you ask them how they're feeling and you really want to know how they're feeling, um, they might be really uncomfortable with that conversation. They are more apt to be present for you if you're having feelings, but for them to have feelings, um, tends to make them feel really weak 
and they don't want it's not feeling weak within themselves they they are, they have they can feel weak they don't want others to perceive them as being weak or being disrespected like being respected is one of the most the, the most important things to them is being respected where that comes into a problem is that you absolutely 100% can be respected when you are dealing with your emotions and when you feel unsure because all human beings at times feel unsure um, let's see if there's anything else I can pull out of my hat of the gorgeous Capricorns really it's one of my most favorite signs um, and there is great depth in them so they might seem um, cold or distant um, especially if they have that Capricorn moon Capricorn moons can be that's how you hold your emotions so if they have a Capricorn moon they're gonna want to work through whatever emotion they're having I don't mean internally work through I mean like literally physically do work rather than feel is where they're gonna feel most comfortable. If they have, for example, a Capricorn in Venus, that's how you love, um, that's going to show up as taking you to the dentist, picking you up from work, um, anything that need, picking you up from the airport, like anything reliable, they're gonna show you rather from, rather than the words of I love you or, um, giving you a big hug or, or saying, you know, flowery words to you about how much they really adore you. Um, they show you how much they adore you. That's the trick to the Capricorn. So it's not the words that mean as much to them. It's the doing shows you how much they love you. So that's, that might help some people that have some cappies in their lives and understand that that's the way they love. And I think that's all I have for now with those gorgeous little crusty beings. The, the last thing I want to say is I looked up the rams and the Capricorn and the ram is the male sheep and the Capricorn is that goat. And I, uh, I, I don't know why I was curious. I was like, well, who would win in a fight? The ram would definitely beat the, um, the Capricorn, the goat, but that goat is able to climb up mountains that no other animal can climb as high besides a bird. They're the ones that can do the sheer cliffs. And that's a great example of Capricorns. So uh, I always end with, if you are interested in doing personal reading with me, you can go to hudsonlike.com. My readings are intuitive as well as all of the knowledge I know about each sign. And again, it's like a cake. So once you have your sign, all of the planets where they are, uh, you marry them together. I try to figure out language to bring it to you. Why would that be helpful? That's helpful for you to have a better understanding of yourself. I think any way of finding tools to better understand ourselves makes life, has the possibility of making life even better. So it brings out the positive aspects and shows you where the challenges may lie and how to deal with both in a really loving and accepting way. And the very last thing I want to end with is we are all way beyond any of the placements of the planets when we were born. Way beyond it. But to start from the beginning is a great place to begin. So mm, that's all I have. Happy Thursday.